Hi guys, this is Boy Bink and back for another video. Today I will show you how to solve the luxury SQL injection annoying attack determines the number of columns retained by the query. This lab continue an SQL injection property in the product category filter. So results from the query are retained in the application response. So you can use the annoying attack to, to retrieve data from other tables. The first step of such an attack is determine the number of columns that are being retained by the query. To solve the lab, determine the number of columns retained by the query by performing an SQL injection annoying attack to retain an additional row contain null value. Let's access the lab. Wait for a second, that depends on your internet connection. You see, the first thing, the need to have the filter. You see, we need to know if that website is vulnerable for SQL injection. It enters the single column. It's an internet server error. Let's see if we can able to to, to comment the rest of the query by adding two dashes. You see, we have a response 200. That means this was size is verbal for SQL injection. We need to use purpose weight to interrupt with the response, interrupt in the own, and hit refresh, and go to and send this to repeater, and interrupt is off, and go to repeater. Here, you need to put dash and use unknowing sorry annoying select let's choose null we see we have like give me internal server error or something like that and hit control U or command U if you use Mac and send the request. You see, internal server 500. Uh, let's edit another one by edit null. Use the capital null and send again response. You see, we have 500 internal server error. And uh, edit another one null. And send again. See, we have uh, one, 200 of okay. K. When we go to our lab, we solve the lab. And this is it for today. I hope you hope it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to see new stuff. And see you next time, guys. Papa.